So we will be discussing, you know, various government actions throughout this course and throughout macroeconomics, right? One of the most common, one of the most hated uh, on both sides of the, the coin, right, is the, the taxing, right? The fact that we have to pay taxes on things. And so part of what economists do is they look at who actually has to pay the majority of these taxes, and we call this the tax incidence. The tax incidence is essentially the manner in which the tax burden is divided between buyers and sellers. A couple of rules that we have that make it so that we don't have to go through the scenarios each and every time, but of course we're going to go through the scenarios in just a second so we understand what the heck this is talking about. But we have these handy dandy rules that we'll put out on the box over here. So if we have a more inelastic demand, we have the situation where consumers bear most of the burden. And specifically when we're asked about the relative inelasticity of demand, in this particular situation, we're looking at, is it more inelastic demand than supply? So is the demand curve steeper than the supply curve, right? And then the flip side of this, right, is if we have a less, sorry, if we have a more inelastic demand than supply, if we have a less, actually, let's just say, yeah, let's just say less, less inelastic, which I know is a double negative. So if demand is flatter than supply, then we have a situation where sellers bear most of the tax burden. So let's look at a couple of situations. Let's look at a situation where we have an elastic demand and an inelastic supply. So an elastic demand and an inelastic supply. So we start off with this following situation. And then there is some sort of excise tax that is placed onto the sale. And so now in order to buy the thing, instead of paying that equilibrium price, now we're having to pay the price with the tax on it. at this new price,
we're going to have this amount that's actually being given to the producers. So we've got essentially a new supply curve here. This is the supply plus the tax, where this is the size of the tax between the two. And so the price that we are now paying as consumers is only a smidgen above the old equilibrium price. However, the amount that's actually being received by the sellers is down here in the producer price. So when we have a situation where demand is more elastic than our supply, we see that consumers only pay this PC minus PE extra while producers lose PE minus PP per product. So in this situation, producers bear the tax burden. Questions on when we have a more elastic demand than our supply curve. All right, quickly, let's go ahead and do the opposite example. So now we're going to have a normal demand curve. And we're going to have a flatter supply curve. So this situation, we have equilibrium price, equilibrium quantity. We get some sort of tax. Let's say it's the same size as this tax. So it's going to be one, two, three squares. And we find that with that same tax, that same size of a tax, that same three square tax, we are now at a price where the consumers are paying much more compared to that old equilibrium and the producers are getting less than they were before, surely, but not a significant amount less. So when our supply is more elastic, then our demand, consumers pay more. Questions on tax burden? 